There seems to be a lot of confusion on how cameras, views and resolution work and why that is very strongly tied to how GameMaker graphics overall actually work. This topic is an absolute must to understand. I will try to make this as simple as possible. If you don't understand how GameMaker actually works, you cannot see and effectively use the tools that it gives to you. Once you grasp these concepts, you will have the key to morph your game from noise to oh this is awesome. This video is only the base to understand why the following is so important. The next one will be on how you apply it to create a dynamic camera system that tracks a target, resolution and full screen issues and that can zoom in and out. The whole camera project will be free to download and use. So let's dive deep into it, shall we? First, what is GameMaker and how does it handle graphics? GameMaker is primarily a 2D IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Simply said, it is a program for making 2D games. Yes, shocking news. And here we may already see the difference between other IDEs like Unity, who always carry the extra weight of a 3D engine with it. Unity uses its graphics engine in a three-dimensional room with light sources, physics, 3D models to simulate a 3D space. GameMaker has none of that. Instead it does one thing. Drawing which makes it user-friendly to use. It creates a flexible application surface that you can see in the window when you test your game. The term is maybe a little confusing, but if there is only one thing that you should take out of this video is that the application surface is a permanent buffered canvas, layer or surface that can be manipulated by the programmer, and that is you. Why is that so important you may ask? Every image you use, every animation, light, color and pixel distortion happen on the same thing, the application surface. Hopefully you understand now why this is so essential for every game maker to know. Let's go a little deeper. This is how game maker does it in detail. Link in the description if you want to read their manual page. The first thing is that the application surface is being buffered. Then it checks for every view, which is simply your camera. 99% of other games you only need one camera. An exception would be for example split screen. So it starts with the camera zero. And then all the regular draw events of all the things which are in the room are being drawn on the surface. What are these? Your player, the enemies, all other objects with a sprite, the tile sets, and single draw events from some objects. Once that is finished, it goes to other cameras, but that you can instantly forget because you will most likely have no use for it. Then the application surface resets and does its GUI draw event on top of all. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. Imagine it to be like a sticker on the screen. It stays there and it doesn't move. Health bars? GUI. Special meters? GUI. Messages and text boxes? GUI. Everything that scales with the camera and is dynamic, moving, is not a GUI and therefore a regular drawing. Just keep in mind that the draw GUI doesn't take the scaling of the camera like zooming into account. It draws things one to one. As a side note, there are also regular surfaces that you can use. Please do not confuse it with the application surface, the mother of all drawings. These smaller surfaces are additional layers, canvases or whatever you want to call it. Their primary usage is something like a light system, where you pour gradients holes into it, or to draw things like blood, rubble and enemy bodies on the screen to save memory power. More on that in upcoming videos. And that was it. This is how GameMaker does its graphics.